the third version of my KDP journal is finally here. So let's get ready to view the contents, see how they turned out, and also view this brand new beautiful cover. I hope you enjoy. All right, here we go again. Third try. Oh, okay, did the cover turn out right or not? Oh, this is the back and it is gorgeous, beautiful, very beautiful. You can see all the animals, the owl, hummingbird, spider, butterfly, goose, bat, scorpion, oh, there's a feather, um, this is the snake and it's along the edge so you can't really like see it fully. Um, this is the bonding. The snake goes into the bonding. So you can't really see that part. I did do something really cool there, but you can't see it. But the color is beautiful. In the front, um, gold. It looks like it had a little bit of an accident in the mail. So, there's that. And then there are animals on the front too. And you can't really see them. They're hidden pictures. So, this is a bird. This is actually an eagle. And it is um, having its talons come down to get the snake. So if it were all one picture, you could see that all spread out. And then we have this. This is a crow or a raven. And then uh, this is a lizard, a horse, a fox, who is, you know, kind of the main element, um, a rabbit, and a turtle. So we have all of the, like... Well, they're animals, so I'll let you figure out the rest. And then this is like, kind of like the earth, but I'm not sure. And then it's got a giant, like, corona starburst uh, pattern mandala around it. Okay, so the cover is good. The cover is good. Like, oh my gosh. I'm so happy that the cover turned out. See the little fox head. But mainly you just see colors, and that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be basically um, colorful and hidden pictures and to have like that different contrast on the front and the back and um that's what i have and love it so um already this book feels really thick to me and i'm just trying to compare it to the last version um and they are the same so this book actually feels a little lighter for some reason maybe it's just because i've already um, done the pages and so um, I've broken in the pages and it's just more air in there so it's a, actually kind of like a bigger book technically but um, there's more air in it so it's less dense so now I need to break in the pages for this um, at least in the middle and, so, and I'm, I'm scared as always right so we, I know that these line pages are, have turned out okay, um, but I'm just going to break in uh, the back. So it's easy to break in the middle, um, and I'm not going to break in any further because I remember this from last time, um, that it was, I needed to go back to the front. So I'm just going to open it up randomly, see what we have here. This looks pretty good. Um, my page these lines the um, the spacing looks pretty good and everything else is the same so I'm pretty happy with that um, I need to break it in so this is the hard part there okay so the the point is for it to lay flat that's that's what I want Okay, so the next one over is going to be the time charts. Okay, let me go ahead and do this. So, it's um, the time. So, it'll be 8 a.m. through whatever at night. Oh, okay. And do I have enough room? Yes, it looks like I have enough room this time. So, Wednesday does get a little bit extra room. Um, Sunday has the least amount of room, but that is okay. Um, Saturday and Sunday are the smallest. Thursday has plenty of room. Friday has plenty of room. 
Um, Wednesday is good. Monday and Tuesday are both good. Actually, I could move Tuesday and Monday over just a little bit. I might do that. Um, but otherwise, everything looks great. Um, the times are all there. These are kind of like my working hours. Oh my goodness. And this in this, like you might say, oh, well, these aren't centered. At one, I don't care. And two, um, it's you're not able to center these because of Amazon, because of the print margins, they won't allow you to print any further. Or I would have like moved them over a little bit, but it will not let me. For some reason, it will let you print lines here, but if it detects uh, letters past the margin, it, it won't let you do it. So that's why that's there. Uh, but everything is great. Oh my gosh. Page numbers. Page numbers. Oh, my journal. It's, it's here in like... A, is this going to be it? Is this going to be the final version? Those two things were the major issues. So, um, let's see. Okay, so going over. I have these. This is my layout for my, um, like, abundance and gratitude. All the columns look great. That's fine. Um, so it starts with that. And I'm, like, constantly... As I use these, I'm breaking in, breaking in the pages. Okay, so going over, what do I have next? I have these pages, um, and I don't care that this is is like that. I think it's fine. Um, this is like a six. This is a 16 week spread, um, or you could do eight weeks with two different types of topics or subjects. So, it just depends on how you want to use it. I use it as a 16-week spread. Um, let's see. How many pages do we have? One, two. Only two of those spreads like that of the 16-week. And then it goes into the abundance. So, okay, let's keep going. Okay, and then this was... This was... This is awesome. This this turned out. Um, there's even an extra little column here, which is is great. It's fine. Um, I don't think I can print 14 into this space, so it just is what it is. Um, because of the same text issue, you can't print beyond that margin. Um, but this will. This has 31 um, across, and it has 31 cells going down. So you could use it either way, um, but I didn't print the numbers here because um, I needed this space to label over here. So one, two, three, and four. Yes, yes. Okay. So there's four of these because this gives you enough for two months of one particular topic that you're tracking. And then it gives you two months for the next, like a, a completely different topic that you're tracking. So one may be like foods and whether or not you ate them or not. And this might be symptoms and whether you experienced them or did not experience them on a particular day. So that's the way that works. Um, I usually, I, I think in the previous versions, well, one of the previous versions, the version I'm in now, I had more space at the top. And that allowed me to put the day of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That helped me keep myself straight in terms of the numbers. And then I also had, um, like, the date. So if it was October, it would be October. You know, I would start listing what what the date was that lined up here. Um, because I use this particular thing for not monthly in terms of January, February, March. But I use this in a... 28 day cycle format or whatever day cycle format I need it to be so there's four so that that's why there's four of those no changes needed there and then this um, this looks a little better looks more evenly spaced um, I'm very happy with that this was the tracking for um, like to-do lists and things like that of different categories that I would fill in. Um, and I got two of those. And then I have two of the just four. 
And it looks like these are, you know, have a longer space at the bottom than at the top. That's fine. I don't care. It doesn't have to be even. Um, two of those spreads. Then I have the pay table of contents. Again, looks great. And um, the cover page, which lets you put the dates and, you know, whatever you want to put there. Oh my goodness, I think this might be it. This might be the journal. So, now I just need to check the, make sure that what I see here in the table of contents is actually what shows up in the book. So, it starts with lists. Yes. And I have two pages of those because it's the same type of list format pages. And then I have page eight, which is lists again. And this is a different format, so that's why it gets a different, like, um section and have two pages of that. Now I have tracking starting on page 12. Alright, um, yeah, 12. So page, so 12 through 20 is the next different one, the next set. So let's see, go to page 20. Yep. And it says tasks. And I have two pages of that. This is, um, like I said, 16 weeks, but you could do however you need it, um, it to be, because technically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is, this is two months, um, right here. Um, okay, 24 starts a different type, 24, I have tasks, um, because I didn't want to name this anything specifically for, um, the abundance and gratitude because that's kind of um it's not labeled as that and you can actually use this for whatever you want to use it for this grid but it does have seven seven cubes going down one two three four five six seven and it's got a set of those so this could be days of the week this could be goal tracking or goal setting anything because you have those seven days and so this gives you one two three four um four weeks so that should get you about a month and this should get you about a month and there's two spreads of this so you have about a two months worth or you could um, do whatever okay and then the next one is 28 and yes it starts my weekly to do so that's what I call this page and then we should go to 46 to get the next one Yes, 46. Okay, so that's it. So, um, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, two. So it's 10 of those, I guess. Um, count that again. One, this is, a, so this is a week. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. That's two months. Nine. Yeah, nine. So nine weeks, and that's the way I planned it because some um, months have um, five weeks in them instead of, and you need that space um, if you want to include the entire month. So it's a uh, one extra week in there, or if you mess up, I guess. And then this, you should have the same one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's two months and nine for the extra. And then it starts journal pages. Perfect. And then in the table of contents, do I already have that? No, I don't. So when you when I start my journal and I start writing in this new journal, which has plenty of pages. Like, oh my goodness, it has enough pages for my two months. I know this is going to be enough pages, for me at least. Um, then I would just write 64 here and say, like, start journal. Or put it down here and say journal. Um, now, in the back of the journal, there should be more. I'm going to break this in. And let's see how those um, last pages turned out.
So, yeah, these are much harder to break in. The ones at the back. Um, so, I'm glad I, I skipped over that part. So, when we get to the end, the last journal page is on... 181 and then it goes into blank completely blank pages so you can just draw charts or graphs or pictures or whatever you or tape something in i mean you could tape something in anywhere but it's blank paper you have actual blank paper and then i have a few pages of this type of graph paper now i know that this um this paper is very valuable right very valuable space here um true kind of grid graph paper here so there's only a few pages of this i'm going to see how this goes see how i like it and maybe add more to future versions of the journal but yep that's it exactly what i need exactly what i want i feel like this is ready um ready for production ready for advertisement whatever you want to call it letting people know that it exists and it's out there and even though it is made for me, I am sharing it so that everyone else can have it too. So I guess now I'll just get started on making more covers. So right now I have three covers available. And as I go forward, I'm gonna have to like um, create the journal and then order the covers. So far, all of the covers have turned out really, really well. So these have, these are my covers so far. Um, this is the journal I'm technically using right now that I'm in. Um, even though it was not well done, I guess. Um, it was the prototype, not as thick. Does not have as many pages. I will run out of pages in this journal um, because it's it's a two month journal um, in terms of the planning and tracking, but I won't have enough journal pages. So, um, I'll hopefully be in one of these soon. Probably this one because it did have issues. And I really want to go ahead and use it now. Um, and get it, get, get done with it so that I can move to the ones where I've kind of perfected everything. Um, but that's it. So, I'll be busy making new covers now. I'll need at least six covers per year. Um, in order to get, because um, throughout the year you have 12 months, and so I'll need, and these are two month journals, so I'll need six covers per year. That'll get me through a whole year, and um, I'll probably end up creating way more than that in terms of covers. And also, I have a request in to my daughter said, Make me this journal. But I just want blank pages in it. So I'm going to probably do different versions of that. So that I'll call it something different. I'll call it um, hmm, made for someone else. Made for Ava maybe. Um, or just journal. I don't know. So I'll do that. So I'll have this available in this version. And then also um, just blank pages. I'm really interested to know how long this holds my interest or meets my needs suits my needs because I often switch up the way I do journaling um, this size format has worked for me for most of this year and I've liked it a lot um, now that it has my planner pages in it I think I'm gonna be really happy with it I was unhappy with the previous um, planners I've had because I didn't like the spiral bound very much. I mean, it was okay, but it was just a planner. It wasn't a planner and a journal. I had to take, I couldn't carry it around with me like I can my journal. And I had to carry a journal journal around anyway, just so I could write. Um, so there was that. And then there were, you know, the other types of planners where the pages come in and out and that was even, I mean, I love those, but that was even worse because I really had our time carrying those around. Um, even when I made a really small one that was like, you know, quarter page or I guess half page long ways, um, even that didn't really work well for me. Um, 
because I was so worried about um, being rough with it. And these I can just kind of throw around. Like, I'm just a clumsy person. So, things are going to happen. Um, I even had an electronic journal, which I love. But, again, I was so scared that my water bottle was going to leak into my purse. And it was going to get in my... Um, electronic journal or if it just rained if I had run in from the rain and that journal got wet the electronic journal I was so scared if something bad would happen um, to it because it cost a lot of money and it had so much data in it these are only two month journals so that means it's a planner and a journal two months I'll be done with it in two months I'm not gonna ruin a year or two years worth of information and I'll be able to look up my look up everything these will go on the shelf they're beautiful i'll have songs and poetry and ideas and everything in these and they will all be on the shelf um and i might be able to do like a little label maker or something and put some dates on the the side so i know what's what um and of course the dates will be here in the front page but Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't believe it. This is wonderful. Again, these are really thick. And I haven't used a thick one yet. My current version is, is only this thick. So if I squish it down, you can see. Um, slightly bit, bit thicker. These are more the size of like a novel that you would be reading. Like, I've never had a journal this, this thick that wasn't a hard, hard copy, hard bound book. Um, and I don't really want a hardbound book. They're, they're just too heavy. If it's heavy, I want it to be because it's got pages in it. Um, but yeah. Yes. So, this cover has been corrected as well. It, this, this whole book has been corrected. All of these books have been corrected. So, what you see when you, if you were to purchase this book, you're going to get a book this size. And you're going to get the pages that are inside this book. So even though the previous version was not correct, um, I've updated all of those in the system so that you're going to get the the version of this, the pages you just saw in this video. That's going to be inside this book. It's going to be inside this book. Um, they'll all be the same and this thickness will all be the same. So this will be a lot thicker as well and it, it will be correct. Um, the same goes for this. So the pages in here will, will be correct as well. They will be what you saw in this, this journal. Um, because corrections were made. Especially like things were wrong everywhere. I had to change the table of contents. All of that stuff. Um, but it's corrected now. So it doesn't matter what version, what cover you buy. It's going to have the same insides to it. And it will have the same number of pages and all of that. So this is it. This is the version I don't think I'm going to make any more changes to the inside. Um, if I do, I'll do that much later and I'll make a video for it. Um, but yeah, like, I'm pretty excited. And I hope you are too. So go out and um, start your planning and let me know what you think. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video with this beautiful new journal with the cover. Um, all the animals on it that um, are like hidden pictures all the content is there so um, these are available for sale on Amazon now you can see links in the description for the three different versions of for the three different videos I've posted so far um, and stay tuned for more to come there are a lot more cover designs that I've created already um, and have yet to place the orders for those but I will be showing you those as soon as they arrive.